Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Today we are going to look at functions in OpenObserve. As you can see, I have already logged into our cloud OpenObserve application, right? And then I am into a logs editor screen. The functions in OpenObserve are a way by which you can uh, redact the data, reduce the data, you can enrich the data, right? These functions are implemented using VRL. VRL stands for Vector Remap Language, right? <coughs> there is a link for VRL in our documentation. VRL offers a rich functionality wherein you can do a lot of stuff with VRL. So today we are going to look at query functions, right? And, and we'll also look at how can the same function be leveraged at ingestion time, right? So I'm on log screen where I can see that there is a log stream named default, right? And there is a data that is being continuously ingested to it. Okay, let's look at different fields in this, you know, log stream. There are fields like ID, timestamp, and, and the field that we are gonna, you know, probably uh, work on is a date field, wherein we see that there is a date, right? We are gonna, you know, use this date field and transform it into a timestamp using VRL. Okay, so on this logs exploration page, what we see is there is a query editor and there is a VRL function editor. Okay, so let me quickly, you know, uh, try inf uh, introducing a new field called new date. Now this new date field actually is, you know, derived from the date field in the record. Okay, so what we are doing is we are using a function named to timestamp, which is gonna take date field from a record as input. It is going to convert it into a timestamp and then that field will be added as a new date on the record. Okay. So, you know, this is how a VRL function is, you know, uh, coded. Whenever you want to return the modified record, you should, you know, uh, put a dot in the end so that that gets returned. Okay. Let's try quickly, you know, applying this function over last one minute of data. So, you know, let, let's check if the function was really applied to the data at query time. Right. So what we see is, yes, there is a date field here, which is having a value 6 June 2023. And then there is a field called new date, which is actually a timestamp value of the date field. Right. So that's how you can apply functions at query time. Now, you know, I can quickly save this function for further use. Right. So let me name this as, you know, uh, uh, transform date, transform underscore date right there's a spelling mistake here right once i enter this this function will be saved okay now you know we have looked at how do we apply functions at query time okay now let's head to the functions page okay the function that we right now created is actually saved and we can see that function under functions menu in open observe okay we can modify this but I'll not do that. Let, let's look at, you know, how can we apply this function at ingestion time, right? So there is a tab called stream association. This lists all the, you know, streams which are available in open observe. Now, once I click here and I say, I want to associate a function, I can, you know, quickly, it, it lists all the functions which are available here. And then I can quickly, you know, associate this function. Now, since this function is now associated with the stream, the incoming data will be, you know, transformed using this function, right? So what would happen is for all the incoming records, it will pick up the date field, right? It will convert it into a timestamp and it will add it to that record. And then the ingested data will have a field which is named as new date. Okay. Let's quickly, you know, uh, move to uh, the, the logs page to see, you know, whether the function at ingest time is applied to the log stream. Okay, let me go to the logs page very quickly. Let's remove this function from here, right? And let's let's query the last one minute of data. Yes, you see, now there is no you know um, query function, uh, you know that we have used during the query, but the date field is now being transformed into a timestamp, right? So the function is now applicable at ingestion time. So same function can be used during query time, same function can be used during the ingestion, right? 
so that's how one can leverage functions in open observe uh, that's it for today on functions we will also look at how to leverage enrichment you know uh, uh, enrichment tables in uh, from vrl in open observe but you know i i'll i'll record a separate video for that thank you